please tell us the story. Share with us the story how you and Marlene Dietrich and the Rendezvous with Marlene, with Marlene Dietrich really came about. Tell us that story. Well, it was the year 1988. Um, I was in Paris performing Sally Bowes in the Parisian production of Cabaret. And uh, it is true that uh, the media were writing about me up a storm and they wrote um, the new Marlene Dietrich about me, La Nouvelle Marlene, Liberation, the front page and Le Monde. And I said, my God, how can they say such a thing to compare me to such a legend who is so far beyond uh, Uh, stardom. She has carried so much uh, courage and, and pain and conflict with uh, having been this Hollywood movie star, the Weimar star, the chanteuse, the American soldier in World War II. Um, the, the Germans called her a traitor later on. There is so much to her story. And there she was, this um, recluse that lived in Paris. For, she hadn't left her house for more than a decade. She uh, lived there with her telephone and uh, uh, talking to uh, many people on the telephone, including the world leaders, uh, how to compare me. I was 24 at the time, but yeah. obviously it was an honor, but I wrote her a letter to kind of uh, just reach out to her. I knew she was reading the newspapers and she had heard about me. And, uh, you know, she had been very motherly to Romy Schneider at the time and to Hildegard Knef also. Um, and I know she, she, she was interested in people and in interesting people. So um, I didn't feel very much interesting, but I thought I'm going to write her the letter. And uh, she did call me back a month later and found me in a little hotel. And we had a three hour conversation and um, I didn't write anything down. I was sat there in my hotel room. I shivered. My knees were trembling. Yet I do. Uh, I did capture her mood, her mel melancholy her um, bitterness, her, her chutzpah, she was so weird the way she talked. She was wicked, you know, like an older lady, uncensored in her words. But she was kind with me, very kind. She did not insult me ever. And uh, she encouraged me and, and told me little secrets and uh, about her, very much about her pain being rejected in Germany. She knew I was a young German and and uh, her heritage and all of that. So now 30 years later, when that phone call finished, I never got, uh, talked to her again, even though she did leave me her phone number, but I didn't call her up again.